These powerful winds caused a lot of destruction in Hillsborough County as well. And in the wake of all of that, yeah, we have some really remarkable stories of survival that we want to share with you. In Valrico, a father desperately searched for his seven-year-old after a tree mm. literally cut his home in two. And then there's Sefner, where an enormous 100-year-old tree crushed a family-owned business. Steve Andrews live there for us tonight with this incredible story. Steve. Hey, Rod and Stacy, good evening to you. A couple of those, one of those stories happened here right in Sefner on Florida Avenue. How these people managed to survive what happened to them overnight, I'll never know. But take a look at this. This tree split in two, and then one half just hammered this business. At about 4 a.m., this huge 100-year-old oak split. Half of it crashed down on this building that housed a lawnmower business. The roof and ceiling collapsed on a sleeping 76-year-old Del Collier. Owner and brother Ron showed up for work at about 8. I didn't even recognize the place because the, the tree fell on the, on the building there. Del managed to dig out from what lay on him, but then Ron says there was another close call. So he got out, and as he going out, he crossed over a little fence there and a wire electric wire was charging him and it shocked him all the way up to his elbow. Bloody, bruised, and a bit dazed, Dell refused medical treatment. Three and a half miles away, 35-year-old Reuben Hamilton and his wife picked through what's left of their home. Reuben's crushed truck was his way in and out. Thursday night, about 7, rain pounded, then everything went quiet. Just like that, everything came tumbling down. A tree crushed the roof, falling on the bedroom in which his seven-year-old daughter slept. My daughter was in the room here uh, for a blink five seconds. Everything was blurry. We are trying to find ourselves. Then the screaming started. My neighbor started to scream. There's a child in there. Ruben says that remarkably, the roof and ceiling material actually formed a little pyramid over little Jada. He was able to crawl through all that material, the tree, the rain, the debris, and pull her to safety. Several other homes in that mobile home community off Al Rico Road suffered significant damage. For Ruben, there is little to salvage. Same here in Sefter. Ron Collier has been here at this business, in this location, for 18 years, and Rod and Stacy, like so many others today, he just doesn't know what's going to happen next. Yeah. So sad. All right, Steve Andrews, live in Sefner tonight. Thank you.